is my table. This is some of the pictures from, this is from Animal House, and that's me. That's the only one I brought of me. But um, we've got Cuckoo's Nest here. Management with Jennifer Aniston. Yeah. Oregon's got a stellar reputation. Just you know, look at what's been made here. And it's kind of got this nostalgic and hip at the same time. I mean, there's producers that have moved to Portland because they just love it. It's like the, a happening town. And they can't believe how sophisticated we are up here, you know, the film crews, right? So it's, um, we've got a really good reputation. And we just, we need to just keep growing. You know, we need to get more people interned into the business. We need to get more incentives or at least last longer. Keep growing. People know about the films that were released recently. Uh, everybody knows about Twilight, which had a huge impact on Oregon's economy last year. Coraline was just re released this year from Leica uh, Entertainment one of the, and, and released in the, one of the premier 3D uh, stop-motion animation films of all time. Um, and uh, some of the promote there's there's projects that are underway. Um, a a uh, project that has the support of um, TNT Turner Networks mm -hmm. uh, is in production right now, and uh, and there's some other projects that are that are work that people are working on right now. Several very large projects, including a TV series that's that's uh, in pre-production at this moment. Well, Senate Bill 621, uh, the, or, uh, the extension of the Oregon Production Investment Fund, uh, it's going to add $5 million to the uh, uh, investment fund, $2.5 million a, a year over two years. What or, the Oregon Production Investment Fund basically does is it um, incentivizes an industry project to come here from out of state. When that happens, it's like there's a multiplier effect uh, for every dollar in revenue that uh, uh, that the Oregon Production Investment Fund uh, pays out, a dollar fifteen comes back into the state. So we're you know, one of the few industries that's actually making revenue for the state right now in, in the recession. The benefit of what our of the stimulus package is that it doesn't take from the general fund, so we don't have to compete with the regular uh, education and medicine, medical services and transportation services that are funded out of that. We're really just asking for a discount on the taxes that those multi-million dollar productions would be paying. Mm -hmm. It's an encouragement for, for those productions to situate in Oregon as opposed to Canada or New Zealand or other states in the United States. It's a money maker for the state. You know, it's like, you know, if, if, if they could, you know, triple it, if they could quadruple it, they'd make all that money back. Right, right now, other, there's other states that are incentivizing at as much as 40%. Uh, like like uh, uh, Michigan is incentivizing at 40%. And uh, the last word I heard is like, there's uh, you know, 15 you know movie productions that are like moving to Michigan to, to shoot there uh, because they don't have to pay that money out in unemployment to all those out of out of work uh, auto workers. They're retraining them to work in the film industry and setting up facilities in in the state of Michigan to do that. Oregon could do the same thing. It's like right now. Uh, you know, we, we could be uh, training Oregonians to work in the film industry for uh, shutter-ready jobs and be able to, uh, you know, uh, take people off of the unemployment rolls and put them to work in the films if we just had the, inc the incentives for Hollywood to come here and then, you know, train, retrain these people to work in the film industry. What I'm working on with Brent Merrill, actually, is a uh, production facility that interns the next generation of crew. Because, for instance, right now it's feast or famine. We have a Harrison Ford film coming in. My husband got hired on it. But at the same time, we have a six-month-long TV series. And we don't have the crew depth. We don't have the film crew to do two movies at the same time. And I've seen that coming. So we're working to try to start interning people when we're off of film, you know, not working. We could help intern young people into new jobs. One of the things that I would like the legislature to do is to get behind a workforce development program to train uh, the uh, the future crews that we need uh, in the uh, indigenous independent film community. Um, I'm I'm a uh, independent filmmaker here in Oregon, and 20% of the crews that are working right now 
in the industry have been trained on our independent films, you know, and we paid for it out of our pockets with uh, our credit cards and second mortgages on our house. Uh, you know, the state didn't have to like you know pay for this workforce training. We're capable of training the crews that uh, the industry needs tomorrow. Right now, it'd be really wonderful if we could get you know some workforce development grant money from the state to be able to do something like that. The jobs that are created in media production are higher than average wage. We're talking about. Like, say when you watch the end of a uh, TV show or a movie, mm -hmm. those 50, 80, 100 different people okay. whose names are credited, everything from hairstylists to actors to producers to wardrobe to sign painters, mm. uh, even massage therapists, are all employed in, in uh, film, television, and media production. Um, so there's a, there's, so they're, hired, they're skilled, creative labor. And uh, it's, it's, it's great work for Oregon, and we're doing our best uh, down here in Salem to, to, to encourage more of those jobs.